when we start, in all fairness, you know, if if you're beginning what you're doing, if you this is you, if you're new to the pathway, which in Sanskrit they use the word dharma. If you're new to your dharma, and in regards to walking in faith, strengthening your belief and understanding, trust God, and then strategically learn to trust other people with discernment, right? With discernment. So along the way, all of a sudden, you've been praying for a while, you've been meditating for a while, and all of a sudden, things you were thinking about a couple of years ago and praying about a couple of, they start showing up in your life. And all of a sudden you sit still and the Holy Spirit speaks to you and says, you had something to do with that. God used you to help bring this into creation. Well, what does that do to your faith and belief? Well, it takes it to a whole new level. And once that starts to happen, Jimmy, we have, you know, as above, so below. It starts, you know, one hand washes the other. It Everything starts to come together. And your faith becomes knowing. You go from faith to, oh, I know this is happening, which is faith on fire. Right. You have the expectancy. You start now going back to your prayers, beginning with Thanksgiving, but beginning with expectation, because now that you've seen Abba deliver. You can imagine what happens to your prayer life now. You can imagine. So we start up, Jimmy, I believe, is a stair step of faith. We do a little bit, something shows up, we get a little bit more faith. We do a little bit more, something shows up, we get a little bit more. So don't worry if your faith is small right now. It doesn't mean you can't change it like that. Don't worry that maybe your belief is a little bit weak right now. You can change that and learn discernment the way you really learn discernment i mean there's no better program in my opinion on the planet than the 45 day challenge to strengthen discernment like jimmy say who to trust and who not to trust understand if anybody occupies a physical body you're questionable in the beginning whether you should trust them or not. That's just being healthy. Psychologically, that's just being healthy. That's just being smart, right? Especially if you're doing a column exercise, like we have on the document section of Rasaji.com, and you're looking for a significant other, or you're looking for a business partner, or if you're considering an investment in an arena that you've never done before. Maybe you're going to invest in the precious metals, but You've really never done that before. And you're thinking, well, should I own the physical or can I put it in a vault somewhere with this company? And then now you got to trust the company, right? Discernment. But once things start to show up, ball game changed big time because as things begin to fit and now the crescendo thing happens again. Jimmy and me can tell you over the years as we observe our pathway of faith, God starts manifesting things faster and faster. In fact, you want to know if you're vibrating closer to 5D than 3D, it will feel like time and space has been swallowed up. Remember, time is primarily influence in 4D and space in 5D. And when you start to see these two swallow up and you're moving into the omnipresence of the divine, buddy, you know you're on the right track. You know, and all of a sudden now, you shift from prayer to meditation, contemplation, and you just tell Abba, you're, you're just saying, waiting for Abba and the Holy Spirit to tell you what your next marching orders are. 
That's what you're doing. You just every day empty the vessel to fill, let him fill it back up, be humble before the Lord, because now you know how it works. And you're going to hear what he's got to say, and y'all going to team up. You're talking about the best joint venture partnership you could ever ever have is to have it with Abba. That is the best joint venture partnership. He's going to speak in your ear and the two of you together are going to make it happen because now you've seen evidence and you'll never be the same.